everyone, I am Mitchell Puma Therese Alan Pejado, second year Business Cruise Management student in Section Bravo. For today's episode, we will be making a dessert in which it is our favorite part of our meal, and that will be a mango graham ice cream. But before anything else, we will be making or we'll be doing a mise en place in which we are going to prepare all of the tools and ingredients so that later on it will be easier for us to make the ice cream. In doing the mise en place, first gather all of your ingredients and utensils needed. And then place a garbage bag in front so that it will be easier for us to collect our trash later. And then wash our hands to make sure that our hands are clean to avoid contamination. And then wash the ingredients that are needed to be washed so that it will be clean and to avoid foodborne illness. For our mangoes, we are going to slice it all up for us to get the flesh later on and you can repeat it as how many times as long as you have an available mangoes. And as you can see right now, I am making a diagonal slices so that later on it will form a diamond cut of mango chunks. So this will be scooped out so that we could add it later on to our ice cream base. So surely in this part, there are still some of the flesh left with our seed. So what we are going to do, we are going to get it all out so that it will add scent and a little bit of flavor aside from the chunks to our ice cream. So we will be using a spoon to get the remaining flesh to our seeds so that we could add this to our base. After using the board and the knife, wash it properly to avoid cross-contamination and as well store it in the right places where should it be stored to avoid harm. So at this point, what we are going to do is to place the rest of the ingredients into the appropriate sizes of dishes or bowls for easy grabbing. So as you can see here guys, I have here two packs of 250 grams chilled cream. So it's fine that it will be placed in this size of bowl because since it is chilled, it is quite firm and it won't spill. So at this point, we're going to open this 350 grams chilled condensed milk using a knife. So it's fine to use a knife as long as you're observing proper handling of knife and wash it afterwards and store it. So now we are going to transfer this chilled condensed milk into the bowl for easy grabbing. And now we will be getting 8 pieces of Graham crackers. Here are your tools and ingredients. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to add the chilled cream onto the mixing bowl and mix it until it doubles the size. Now, we are going to add the chilled condensed milk for its sweetness. And with the use of electric mixer, Mix it properly for better outcome. Now we are going to add our mango puree and mix it well. Now, we are going to add our mango chunks but we are not going to put it all because the rest will be our toppings. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're going to add crushed grahams but not finely crushed because this will add texture onto our ice cream just like cookies and cream. And again, we're going to mix it properly with a ladle just like the mangoes. And now we're going to place it in a disposable container. We're just going to add finely crushed grahams on the top. And now we're going to apply the mangoes that we deserved a while ago and we didn't include to our base. And now we are going to put this inside the fridge for 3 to 4 hours. A few moments later. After a few hours, our Bingo Graham ice cream is now frozen. So here is the sample. So you could serve this directly or you could just give this to a friend or a family member. But if you want to give it a style or a simple twist, then you can Once again, I am Michi Puman Charis L. Empedrado, second year BS Cruise Ship Management student in Section Bravo. And again, here are our finished products. 